and today we got a parcel right here that we're going to unwrap but we're also going to tell you a little story before we do this unwrapping and I have Shea Bear here and also Bruno's here with us too today so stay tuned and we'll be right back Okay guys, so what has happened, we decided we wanted to get something for Bruno for camping, okay? And um, so I looked on online and we thought, why don't we get a doggy tent for Bruno? So then he has his own little hole and we can put it in our tent and he can go in his little thing and keep warm and um, yeah. So I started looking online. And I came up with a one. Uh, it was called Mega. I don't know if I can find it on here. It's called Mega Dogs. That's what it was called. Anyway, so I ordered it, and it was expensive. It wasn't cheap. With all the all, everything all together, it was like fifty-six dollars and something. Yeah, we gave sixty for ours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we spent a lot of money on this little tent for Bruno. So. Um, yeah, so now we we waited and waited, and I waited like three weeks. I called them. They have a phone number that you can call. It's supposed to be 24-7 that you can call them. So the only thing I ever got was a answer machine. So I gave them my name. I told them my problem and that I hadn't heard nothing because it says that within three to five days, if you not heard a from them for a tracking number, to to give them a call or email. Them. Yeah, and then in parentheses it says we're fast. Yeah, yeah. No kidding, yeah. it says that we're yeah, fast. Yeah, it says that we're fast. So. Anyways, they sell all kinds of stuff for dogs and, and that. So, um, I just thought it was legit, you know, pretty good. It had four stars. Everybody liked what yeah. they got. A few well, of them didn't. They could they could be <laughs> fakes, you know. They, yeah, could be. They, they have their friends and family and whatnot and, and right. put in good reviews. But, um, well, the reason why we wanted to get him the tent was because when we're out camping, sometimes he just likes to go in our tent and play around. Yeah, he likes to, it's like his little playground. So we thought if we got him his own little tent while we're out doing our thing, mm -hmm. he could sit and play in his own little tent. And right. then at night, we could put it inside our tent and he could sleep in his own little tent. Yeah, because he's he gets cold, he tries to get into my sleeping bag, <laughs> and then I'm falling off the pad because he's pushing me. He's a pusher. When you sleep with him, he sleeps long ways, and he pushes both of us almost right off the bed. Now this little dog can really do some moving around in the bed. So anyway, so we thought this was going to be a really good idea. And I didn't care if it was $56 because he's our baby. It's all we have, you know, Bruno, you know, <laughs> that's our baby. And I was like, you know, he's a good dog. He's been really good to us and we're good to him. And he, he loves to go camping. So, and then I thought, well, maybe I might be able to put it in the bedroom so then maybe he would sleep in it more and not on our bed either. So we're going to try it. Anyway, so three weeks went on. Never heard from him. I emailed them. I called them. I waited a little longer. Still didn't hear nothing. I've called them several times. I emailed them several times. Never got a response. So I'm thinking, oh my God, this is fraud. I even called the bank to cancel it. And they were doing an investigation on it as we speak. Mm -hmm. And today, guess what? It shows up. Now, Shea Bear went on there, too, and he did uh, a thing on there and commented. No, and I, I sent him an email. <laughs> yeah. So, you tell him what you did. Well, I did my best professional. I used no... No profane language or anything, and I told him, you know, that it was um, very unprofessional. That it was very unprofessional for them to, you know, be treating people that way. And that your website says that 
your fast, which is a blatant lie, and it says 24-7 customer support in big letters, but once you open, get into their website and you start reading in smaller letters, it gives you Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Mm -hmm. Now, their address, their physical address that they have on their website was phony. <laughs> I Google Earthed it. It was phony. It was, what was it, some other kind of company? It's in, that, it's in Oregon or something. Yeah, in Oregon. This came from where? California. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and I told him that. I said, I found your physical address and, it, and, it's, and it's false. It's a, it's a lie. It's fake. You guys are scamming. And I say, you know, this needs to be resolved so further um, legal action is not taken. Legal and uh, criminal action not taken. Because I said, this has, you know, been mentally and physically draining on me. You know, worrying about where my money's going, my hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. You guys take my money, you say you're fast, and then you don't return our calls. You don't return our emails. Mm -mm. So I pretty much threaten them with a lawsuit. That was what, last week? Yeah. So that was about the time that it should have took to originally get here. From the time I sent that email until today was about the time it should have got here. Right. So, figure that out. And then she's got an investigation going, you know, look, I spent this money. These people will not get a hold of me. They right. suck. Yeah. Because I just wanted my money back. At this point, I was like, done with this. And we'll just get our money back, hopefully. Yeah, that's and, what I and said. And I would just get... And I was hoping the bank would do it, and they were doing an well, investigation, and then they decided well, that, they're going to give it to you. Well, that's not. what I said in the email, that, yeah. you know, just just refund my money. Please refund my money so further legal and criminal actions are to avoid legal and criminal actions any further. Yeah. You know, because, you know, I said this is a scam. You know it's a scam. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you, your, your physical address is, some, is a warehouse. For a totally different company. Mm. Yeah. In Oregon. This came from California. Yeah. So, yeah. With another address. And I think the phone number came from Oregon, too. The one that I kept calling. It yeah. was all Oregon. So, I don't know why it came from California all of a sudden. Interesting. So, now we got it today. So, we're going to open this up. And hopefully it's what we want and what I expect it to be on the picture, which I'll try to put in on my video if I can and show you what I was looking at on their website. So we'll open this up and we'll see what we got, huh, oh, babe? Yep. So I'm going to bring you down a little bit lower. Hopefully you can see what we're doing. Yep, okay. I got it. So... Now, of course, all the labels and stuff are on the on the front, so um, there's a lot of holes in it, too. Yeah. I'll cover it up so you can see. See, there's some holes in there, so it looks like it was like, I don't know how it got tore. And even this part, the inside plastic was is, is torn, so I don't know if somebody peeked in there. Or well, we don't even know what kind of shape this is going to be in. We, no, we don't. No, it might be something we don't even want now. So, after we might have going, just sent something just to keep try us. to pacify us, you know, because I threatened with a lawsuit. Right, right. So, let's see and by the way, guys, I don't just threaten. I, I have been in contact with a couple of attorneys, so. Right. Getting oh. legal advice, and they said I did the right thing. And they said if they call, they said uh, that one attorney said, scare me even more and say that uh, you were advised not to communicate to them directly. <laughs> Yeah, right? So that way they'll go, oh, shoot, you know, he's talking to an attorney. So it comes in a little case, just like most camping gears, and this is all poked out here. Don't know why, but it is. So you can see that, I hope. I'm going to bring that about as low as I can get you. Let me do the legs a little bit here on this tripod so you guys can see it a little bit better. Almost the same amount as our big tent. Yeah, can you believe it? And, you know, we love Bruno, so it was cool to even, I didn't even think of this. This was Shea Bear's doing. Sorry, guys, but I wanted to bring it down a little bit so you guys can see better. There, that's a lot better. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is open this lovely little thing up. And where is my Mr. Bruno? Bruno, where'd you go? Right here. All right. So this is yours, Bruno. This is for you. Yes, it is. Let's see what we got here, okay? We'll get Daddy to put it together. It's supposed to be very simple to put together. I think it just pops up. Yeah, yeah. Is it the right color? Yep. Yeah, that's the color. Let me get that open here. Alrighty. So, we got this little tent here. Okay, well, we'll have to put it on the ground. Yeah, we're going to put it on Go the ground, the and then we'll we'll come right back. <coughs> it just opens up like an umbrella, I guess. Yeah, very simple. It's supposed to be. I guess you pull it up. Yeah. I know, I just want to make sure. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wow. Oh. I guess those are the ties to tie it down into the ground. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just to pull that thing up, that spring, and you just pull it on that. These have popped out, so. Hmm. So I'm gonna fix these. Mm -hmm. There's one. Mm. Hang on, buddy. He's excited. This is your very own tent, bud. Kind of like a playpen for him. Yeah. So he don't have to be tied up all the time. Because we don't let him run loose. No. He likes to chase animals. Well, he likes to sniff. and He just likes to... Now, know. this is what you're supposed to do. Take these two little deals here. Mm -hmm. And then just pull it up. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Now, I'm not sure how to... Release it? Yeah. Oh, your pads fell out. And they give you a pad to go with it. So I thought that was kind of nice. Because now he's got his own little pad to go in there. I guess you just pull the bottom up. Alright. So. There we go. And then you put your pad in. I put my pad in here. And it also zips up, so if you wanted to zip them up in the evening. The only thing I would say, I mean, that's really closed in for a dog, you know. I mean, I guess if it was really cold, you know, you might want to do that. But they should have put a netting thing here or something where you could, you know, just have that and you could left that down so you could see the dog. And, and also, um, that would be the only thing I think that's wrong with this, but, um, you know. Bruno, come on. Come this, is, your tent. this is your new tent. Go in there. That's for you. <laughs> Very good. Wow. What do you think? Sit down. Sit down. Good Aww, boy. Good boy. He's smiling. All right. Hey, you like your new tent? That's yours, buddy. It's That's all for yours. you. 
I think he's happy. And, um... Oh, that smile's worth uh, 50 bucks, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. And then we can... Yeah, see? And I can close it up. Let me show you. So you have it closed up for one minute with the dog in there. Nope, nope, nope. Stay there for just a minute. Uh, uh, see, he might goes, scare him and he won't want yeah, to get back see, in there. Yeah, see, he doesn't like that. And so that's leave, what, it, leave it open for him. Leave it there. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Get in there. You gotta think you scared him. Now he won't go in. Yes. Come on. I'm not gonna close it. Sit. That's yours. What? Nah. See, that's why you shouldn't have zipped it up. You don't well, like I wanted that. to show them, you know, what it looks like. But Well, you could have without him in it. Now he's scared. So, I think that you it's cute. You all you got. I think it's cute. What do you think, Bruno? Huh? Come on. Look inside. Go inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so, hopefully you'll like it and get used to it. It'll take him a little bit. There he goes. He's fine. And, uh, so hopefully it'll work out the way we want it to for when we go camping. What do you think, babe? Well, as long as he likes it. Come on, Bruno, get in your tent. Get in your tent. Go in there and play. Go play in your tent. Come on. Come on. Get in your tent. Get in your tent. Arr. Arr. <laughs> He's distracted. I'll let him get used to it before you zip him up. Yeah. Well, I get a toy. Let me get a toy and I'll throw it in there. Hold on. Or a tree. Got some treats here. Okay, here we go. There you go. Yeah. Eating his treats. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> You'll get used to it. It'll take a little time, I think. But at least we finally got it. It took some threatening to get it, though, which I'm not happy about. But Thanks to Shea Bear. Yeah, at least we got it. Ah, Shea Bear. Well, it wasn't really threats. I was. I was going to sue their asses. Yeah. You know, you're not just going to take, take our money and just whatever. Right. Because a lot of people did. Well, it was only 50 bucks. Well, yeah, well, you know, to us, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. It is a lot of money. So, anyways, hopefully he likes it, gets used to it. I think he will, especially when we we're camping in our tent, and then we put that in there. I think he'll be happy. And then if we want, he can be outside, because that one camping place we went, it, it poured, and it was mud everywhere, and he does not like mud. Yeah, and he can sit in there. Come on. Yeah, so he could sit in there well, if we're sitting outside by the One. fire and it's muddy One. and and rainy One. or something like tent. that. So hopefully he'll like it. But um, yeah, so we'll just have to see, and hopefully he does. Cause yeah, I think it will work out pretty good if he if he'll lay in it, and he may. It might just take a little time. But, yeah, I just think that the closing it in, you know, you, they're not going to like that, so. I I would have put a mesh thing on that part, I guess. At least had the option of both. But, yeah, so I'm glad we got it, aren't you? If he uses it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it in the bedroom, and hopefully I can find, find some room. I'll move his bed and stuff, and just take that stuff away and put that there and hopefully he'll use it. So we'll, we'll try that and see how well he likes it.
Anyways, that's it for now, y'all. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. So, I'm just glad we got it. I'm really surprised we got it. Really surprised. Because I really thought I was going to have to fight to get my money back. I really did. So, um, yeah, I'd be advised of this company. I'm sorry, but um, maybe. No, don't be sorry. They need you know, to be sorry. They, they, they need to do the right thing, which they did. But we had to complain, and I had to call the bank. And I don't know. The bank was doing an investigation on us, so maybe they found a number and told them, hey, you know, we have a customer here that's not satisfied. So maybe they did that. And then with Shea Bear doing what he did, I think that was the end of it. So they were like, we better send this. Well, so. see, if the, they, to me, they didn't do the right thing. No. Because the right thing would be somebody pay, pays you for something, give it to them. Right. The, don't, don't go, you know, well, okay, I screwed them over, tried to screw them over, but I did the right thing in the end. No, right. that's not the way it works with me. You do it the first time. So to me, no, they, that, that isn't the right thing. You still had to wait almost two months for something that should have been here in five days. Right, yeah. You know? And that's a lot of money. I mean, you know, it wasn't like it was a couple of dollars. I order stuff out of California all the time. It, it's never took and no. taken this long. Mm -mm. Uh, the longest it's ever taken me was around Christmas time, seven days to get something from California. Yeah, yeah. And, we... you know, that's counting weekends. So... You know, them, no, they didn't do the right thing still to this day. Right, so. Right yeah. thing, the right thing would be, you know what, keep the damn tent, we'll give you your money back for your troubles, you know. Right, so anyways, um, that's it for now, y'all. I hope you liked the video, and um, yeah, i go somewhere else if you guys are interested in this. Um, you know, uh, he was like, well, why didn't you get it on Amazon? And I was like, well, I couldn't find nothing I liked. And I really liked this. It was pretty cool, I think. So, anyways, that's it for now, y'all. And Mikey says she's out for now. Y'all have a great day. Shea Bear, you have anything to say? Don't buy from them. Yeah. What is it again? Uh, Mega Dogs. I'll put it down so you guys are um, aware. Yeah, I'm don't. I'm going to put it in there, so you'll beware. I had some, I, re, I was reading where people had turned them in, made complaints. Yeah. And one of them was just like us. But once they, they ordered two beds for their dogs. Yeah, I saw that one, yes. And they still haven't received the second one. Yeah, they only received the one, and it was cheaply made, he said. It wasn't it even wasn't what even the he one they ordered. ordered. Yeah. And <coughs> they still didn't receive the second one yet. Yeah, so they were quite And it upset. had been three months for them. Yeah. And, again, no returning calls, no returning emails. No. If you're going to be late, at least return, call someone, um, put an email in. They had my email address. You know, they call, oh, that's all they had to do. Well, first you of know? all, if you're going to be late, don't put, we're fast, because that's a blatant lie. Right. That's an out-and-out -out lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those, and those, those five-star reviews of that company... Yeah. They're fake. They're all fake. I guarantee you they're all friends yeah. and family. Yeah, yeah. So, I'd be aware of them. I'm just lucky that I got mine, you know, really lucky, really. And it's exactly what I bought, you know, it, it, it's exactly what was on the picture. So, I can't complain about that. So, we'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully, it'll last us a while, and hopefully, Bruno will, will be happy with it. So, anyways, I'm out for now, y'all. You have a great day, and we'll be ready for the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.